welcome everybody to my latest video i'm back with some more pickups so yeah since the car boot started oh five six weeks ago now maybe a bit longer i've uh, been finding some really good stuff and uh, yeah i've just not uh, uploaded a video to uh, show the bits i've got and it's been building up so i thought i'll uh, i'll do a video and um yeah show a few of the bits off but um I'm going to break it up into a few videos because there's quite a bit to go through. So, yeah, I'll get started. It won't be a very long video, this, like I said, but uh, we'll start off with a few cassette tapes that I picked up. Uh, I have been getting rid of a, a load of um, cassette tapes. Kept all my hip-hop stuff, um, but I'm getting rid of a lot of other stuff. But, uh, yeah, I saw these and uh, had to pick them up. Three for a fiver. I'm going to keep them uh i made and love i made and stuff so killers probably one of my favorite albums uh yeah nice condition uh, peace of mind and number of the beast so yeah happy to get those uh, i think you wanted two quid each uh, happy to pay that you know and um so yeah i was going to pay me two quid each and he just said you can have the three for a fiver so i was like yeah i'll do that no problem so uh yeah happy to uh to get those right we'll move on to um some ds stuff so i was at a, the uh, the car boot and come across a clearance guy and he had loads of really good games but unfortunately none of the none of the uh, games were in the cases but i bought the cases anyway for a pound each um so yeah i'll go through what i've got so it was a copy of mario galaxy so it's uh it's got no disc but you never know you might pick up a win it's probably in, might be in the console i don't know the width worth a little bit the cases anyway you got smash bros got the manual there was a copy of new super mario i'm surprised i've never had this case in my collection i've got the loose cart um but yeah for some reason i've just never found the the case of it uh, which is uh which is um pretty hard to believe really because it's a common game but yeah um anyway it's so like i say i had the cart fritz off completed it so yeah i was happy to uh to get that um there's a copy of mario 64 ds I've just won a copy of this on eBay for a couple of quid plus post. Um, so I'll be able to complete that when that comes. So yeah, that was a decent find. It was a Sonic Rush Adventure. Already got this in the collection complete. Um, but like I say, it's just the, uh, got the manual and everything. No game. It was Tetris DS. You never know when you're going to find uh, loose carts. Quite common to find loose uh, DS carts. So, might be able to complete them in the future. Um, Nintendo dogs tend to find a loose cart of this a lot because, um, yeah, they get left in consoles and uh, quite a common game. A little bit of trade in that if I find it. Uh, the cart. <clears throat> Not sure why I picked this up to be honest with you because it's not worth a lot in trade. Uh, I just took the lot, I just took everything he had, just paid a pound each for everything. So, and then there was a copy of um, Zelda Spirit Tracks, and not got this in the collection, but uh, like I say, they're all uh, all complete in that. So, and then there was american copy of phantom hourglass but i'll show you now um i found a ds I was at the, the car boot again and uh there was a, a japanese wife and a little girl and they were pulling out loads of toys and stuff and i stood down i said don't suppose you've got any gaming stuff that you're going to pull out and he said, yeah, yeah, we've got a uh, DS somewhere. So I hung about. I said, yeah, I'll have a look. So I sort of hung about for about five minutes, you know, not not rushing them, not being pushy or anything like, like some people can be. You know, I was just, uh, just waited. And um, anyway, they uh, 
they found it eventually well actually i found the um games first in a box and this is what i found little case uh, nothing games really but when i opened the back up they saw the sims games and there was a copy of mario kart and a copy of animal crossing for the 3ds which i've already sold and i've already sold one of the mario karts because i found a few over the last few weeks mario karts um so i sold the mario kart loose cart out of it and sold the animal crossing and there was a copy of phantom hourglass obviously the uk version um so it's a shame that this is the american case but it's going to be a placeholder for now um yeah and i found this case like a week later um, so it was nice to uh, to stick it in although it is a uk cart in a american box but you know beggars can't be choosers and all that so happy to uh, sort of complete that and like i say yeah there was an animal crossing mario kart they've already been sold and then they found the um the console i, I I was expecting it to, you know, when I first asked, I was expecting it to be like the original DS or DS Lite, maybe a DSi. Um, yeah, but then I saw the Animal Crossing and I thought, well, couldn't, couldn't be a 3DS. Anyway, yeah, uh, pulled this bag out. Pink bag. Uh, had the charger. You can get it. Charger is in the side pocket. And it's a, um, yeah, I was shocked when I uh, opened it up. It's a pink 3DS, the new 3DS XL. Uh, pretty good condition. There is some slight markings here to the plastic. Not sure what happened there. Uh, I've got the stylus, but the little clip on it's broke, so I need to get a new one of them. And it has got a, I don't know if you can make it out. Yeah, just about. It's got a, I don't know if it'll focus got a um a little tiny crack there you go a little tiny crack in the plastic for the hinge but it doesn't affect it whatsoever works you know doesn't affect the um the console whatsoever and the screens uh, obviously it was a little girl's uh, console but it's um yeah the screens are really good on it and apart from that little crack it's pretty good condition anyway i've um i've not got one of these uh the 3ds in the collection any 3ds i've not got one i've only got the 2ds uh, the uh, xl um so yeah i've not got a 3ds i know it's pink but uh, i'm going to keep it for now maybe till i find a different color but um yeah i'm going to keep that for now anyway what did i pay for the games with the animal crossing in the mario kart all those bag the charger and that six quid six pound i couldn't believe it when the uh he said six quid yeah maybe they tried to take it to cx and they wouldn't take it because that's like crack i don't know but yeah six quid and what's it in in a discounted condition um hundred pound i think cx said it for obviously they probably wouldn't take it because of that anyway but yeah uh, but it doesn't affect the use of it but yeah really happy with that for six pound um yeah steel steel of the day that was and then i was a different car oh and then i um i found this uh last week uh obviously i didn't want the uh really want the pink bag for the uh, console so i thought i'll keep an eye out for a case and then the next week i found this hard shell case and it fits perfectly the console the 3ds fits in there nice so yeah i paid 50p for that so i was really happy with that and then um there's a lady you know you get talking to people at the car boot and um lady and a chap i see quite a lot at the, the car boots and she asked me a while ago um if i had a spare stylus for a ds I so said, depends what DS it is, um, but yeah, I'll um, I'll have a look, see if I've got one. Anyway, she, she saw me at the boot one week, and she said, oh, I brought that DS along to show you. 
and in, in the end i said well you know what what do you want for it and uh, we agreed and i'll give her a tenner for it which uh, wasn't too bad and it is um dsi black dsi pretty nice condition so it's missing the stylus but apart from that it's actually pretty good condition there's no marks on the screen uh, i have got the uh, dsi xl for myself so i'm not too sure if i'll keep this but um and inside there was a copy of spider-man is it going to focus spider-man web of shadows which complete i think cx sell for about 12 quid so yeah tenor wasn't too bad for the console didn't come with a proper charger i'm not sure i probably got i probably got one anyway but it came with this uh, this lead uh, but this nice this nice uh, little case little zip case so yeah i was happy with that for a tenner and it keeps that contact alive doesn't it because uh you know she'll keep an eye out for other stuff but a few weeks prior to that she actually found me something else um i was at the uh finishing the, the boot i was at it was a bank holiday monday and i was just about to leave and this lady come up to me and she said i could do your advice on something um yeah come back to the car i just want to want to pick your brain i said all oh, right okay so we're walking back to the car and i said what you found she said oh, I, I found a, a big box of sega stuff and i thought really ever <laughs> um yeah anyway i got back to the car with her and she, like she said she had this box there was loads of mega drive games um there was a original uh model one of the mega drive and a model two mass system all the leads yeah, and so this box of games anyway so i was sort of going through it telling her what because she sells on facebook so i was sort of telling her you know what some of the prices of the games would be and um flicking through and i saw she had two copies of this game and it was probably the best game in the bunch cut a long story short we talked about it and um i said i wouldn't mind buying one of those off you because i haven't got it from a collection and uh, she, i said how much would you want for one bearing in mind she had two uh, they're both complete this is probably slightly the better out of the two of them the car is pretty good condition well it's pretty mint um anyway she said a tenner and the game is thunder force 2 so i've got thunder force 4 uh, so i needed this one it's got a little bit of like rub in there um Apart from that, it's got the hang tab, it's got the Sega sticker on the side, which is still intact. Manuals a little bit creased in that in the corners, and there is a slight tear at the top, but the actual cart itself is really nice condition. So for a tenner, I snapped her hand off and said, Yeah, that's fine. Anyway, I think she paid 20 or 25 pounds for the lot. And this is, and I said, I, I couldn't believe it. This was, you know, I was at this boot and I just wish I would have found it. I mean, there was, I had a lot of the stuff that was in there anyway. Um, this is the only sort of thing I was really interested in. But uh, yeah, for, I think it was 25 quid or, yeah, 25 that she paid for the lot. But I'm glad it was here that I found it. If, um you know if i wish i'd have found it but i'm glad it was her because um yeah she talks to me and yeah if it had been somebody else i wouldn't have got this would i so yeah happy with that and then i found um already had I found three copies of Mario Kart this year, loose kart. Like I said, I've sold, well, I've sold two now. And I didn't have the case, and so I bought this off eBay. I think it was about seven quid. But selling some of the other loose carts is paid for it. So, yeah, I've made that. Uh, surprisingly, I never found that. You know, new Super Mario Bros and Mario Kart. I've never found a car boot in all these years, which is a bit strange. But happy to complete that. Uh, and then I'll show you this um, this thing I picked up the other day uh, for a fiver. Um, 
spoke to the chap a few weeks ago and he told me that I said he got any gaming stuff and he said uh, I think my niece has got a, um, a Game Boy and I said all oh, right yeah I said if you um if you bring it along I'll have a look at it anyway I walked up to his table and it was sat on his table and it is Game Boy Advance SP and it's like this metallic -y pink colour I don't know what it's finding pink consoles at the moment but yeah it's the um, 001 model but the screen is really nice condition yeah it's pretty good I mean there's some scratches usual markings to the top but the actual uh, screen and everything is really good and there was a copy of Witch in there don't know anything about this game got Disney license to it but um yeah that was in it so i paid a fiver came with the charger so yeah pretty uh pretty happy with that find so that is about it for this video um like i say it's gone on for longer than i thought been rambling for a bit but uh yeah there's still a lot more to go through and i've got one item that i'm so happy with um it's a big box item but uh and it's not a console so yeah i'll uh i'll get on, on with it in the next i don't know three two or three four days and i'll get another video out and show you a few other bits from playstation xbox and then there'll be a separate cx video some of the stuff i've uh, bought with vouchers uh still got a lot of vouchers to use i think i've got about 184 pounds worth of vouchers at the moment saving them up but i don't know what i'm saving them up for but yeah anyway until the next video everybody take care stay safe yeah bye bye